Yeah. Um. So yeah, Dave, tell us about yourself. You are. Go, I'm you a are comedian. Native of- I'm a native of Atlanta. Comedian. Uh, what do, you, what do you call me? Yesterday, I like how we can reference yesterday. I'm just gonna do that. It's okay. I told you. I know. I know you did. And I was like, as soon as you said that, I was like, I'm gonna reference it a lot, just yeah. because. Mm-hmm. But that's all right. Uh, I, I don't, cause I don't mind. I, I don't mind the imperfections. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't feel like the people should know that. You know, don't be. You know. Anyway, uh, I'm a. Uh, what'd you say? I was a, 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 a podcaster. I never. No one. When you said that. I never heard someone say that about mm. me. And then I was like, dang, I am a podcaster. You are. Yeah, like it never, it never dawned on me. How are you not a podcaster? I don't know. You're on two podcasts. I am. I guess in my head it's just me hanging out talking to my friends. Like I never thought about it as like something that I do regularly, even though it's in my calendar to do it regularly. Yeah. Uh so yeah, podcaster. Uh I guess sometimes writer. Mm. Sometimes writer. I mean, I write my jokes. That's what somebody once told me when I first started. It's like, you're a writer. You write your own jokes. And I was like, you write. Mm-hmm. So writer. And then stand-up comedian. Like, that is my foundation. That is what I do. That is what I love to do. Stand-up comedy. So stand If you know me from anything, yeah. Uh, if it's podcasting, fine. But please check out, the, you know, my live stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Stand-up comedian. Definitely. Yeah. So you were recently in L.A. I was. What was happening out in L.A.? I was in Los Angeles, California. Uh, Technically, I went. I taped in Irvine, California, which is like 65, 70 minutes south. First time in Cali, though? First, listen, not only first time in Cali, only second time I've ever been on a plane. I'm that dude. Oh, uh, Yeah. Like, I've only, before that, I had only been on a plane one time. Okay. And you're usually guaranteed two. Uh, (laughs) But I had only been on a plane once, so that was my first time going a place and then coming back flying. anyway oh wow okay yeah, yeah, yeah uh so you you took a plane man and you drove back the first time was i drove to detroit for some family stuff and then flew back oh, okay uh yeah and wow. that was a few years ago and that then was, I, I remember you went to detroit yeah so uh I, that was that was the one plane ride i had and then now i was like i had to go out here to cali to, to do this thing so i flew to los angeles was there for like a week and then the last that sunday before i left uh yeah i uh uh went to irvine and taped this thing for fuse tv called uproarious mm. so that should air in like october uh it's just me doing stand-up yeah yeah they got six minutes of some okay material <laughs> were people laughing no, no no i like the material what i mean is like it wasn't if you were to be like here's give them your best material mm-hmm. it wasn't my best but that was because i had already taped some stuff for something else and I was like, I don't want to just give people the same thing. And everybody was like, you don't have to do that. You can just. And I was like, I got more. Like if I if I if you telling me I only have six minutes, then I I should quit comedy. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I, and I like the material, but I know that some stuff is stronger than others, mm-hmm. in my opinion. But it's it still got a yeah. I feel like I got a, a great response from the audience and I, the stuff that I know works. Uh, so yeah, I was oh. filming a broyer. So check that out in on Fuse TV. Uh, in like October, I think they said it might. Oh air. wow! Yeah, they filming that much in advance. Oh, they taped a bunch of comedians. It was like thirty people. Oh, so they got like a whole season. Yes, worth a season's of stuff. worth. Yeah. Okay, so the day I was there, it probably it. exactly. So the day I was there, it was probably like fifteen people, mm-hmm. and then they taped the day before. It might have been twenty five or so, something like that. Maybe twenty seven. Something. It was a lot. It was a lot of people. Too. Yeah, it's a lot of people. So uh, wow. yeah, it was fun, man. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm talking to my friend. I hate when I'm talking to my friends <laughs> and I get like, yeah, very good. So <laughs> now, so yeah, I also understand that you met Kevin Hart I, not too long ago. Yeah. Tell us about that experience. This is great. This is good I can't, I'm not that. doing that. I'm not doing that anymore. All right. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I met, I met Kevin Hart at, um, to, I'm, so I'll be on his show that just got picked up by Comedy Central. I think it's called like Heart of the City, and it's another stand-up showcase type show where uh, you know he goes to different cities and like finds you know what he calls underground talent, which I realized was just a technical a, a switch like a code like word for black people. Yeah. Instead of saying urban, yeah, they were like we're gonna go underground, and so wow. yeah, which is fine by me because hey, that check's still clear. So all right, uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, that's coming out. I heard that might come out in like the summer. So that's probably come out earlier, which is dope. 
And uh, yeah, got to meet Kevin Hart, man. That was just a crazy feeling. I bet to meet Kevin Hart and like have him like watch his set and like tell you it was funny and mm-hmm. like tell you how to like ways he thinks you can improve your set. And it's just like, it, I mean, it happened like you know almost a month ago, probably. I don't even know, but it just still feels like like it didn't really happen, like kind of a dream, yeah, type scenario. So I mean, then I was like, I'll never forget that. Exp- like I remember thinking to myself the other day, like if I never do anything else in comedy again, like if I never get nothing else. I had a great run. Yeah. And I don't plan on quitting anytime soon, but just like how many people get get to fly like first of all, how many people never who do this? this is thousands of people that try this, right? How many mm-hmm. people never get a chance to do anything on television? Mm. And within the span of a month I got to do it twice. Uh, you know what I mean? And yeah. then and then at the same time meet arguably one of the most influential and, and, and biggest comedians ever. Mm. You know, and then have him at least Maybe not know my name right now at this very moment, but be like, at some point, his people could be no, he was on your show, and then you did talk to him. Right. And don't you remember you handed him $1,000? Wow. Did I tell you that? No. Oh, I, didn't t- I didn't tell you that story? No. Okay, so this is why this is good. So I will save this stuff yesterday, <laughs> I guess. So, all right. The Friday we taped, that Thursday, uh, when I found out I got it, the dude, the producer was like, hey, uh, you 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 got you got the job. Meet us tomorrow at ten thirty at Magic City. <laughs> we'll wrap we'll wrap back around. We'll do a U turn on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll come full circle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Magic you City. Know, you don't know what I want to talk about. Okay. So they're like, meet us tomorrow ten thirty at Magic City. I was like, cool for the roundtable discussion with Kevin with Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. Magic City for people that don't know is a gentleman's club here in Atlanta. Yes. That pretty much every rapper that's ever rapped out of Atlanta has mentioned. Magic At some City. point, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, anyway, meet him, meet Kevin Hart that Friday, ten thirty. It's a roundtable discussion. We're talking about comedy. At some point, I say, "Hey, I never even been. This is the first time I've ever been in Magic City. Yeah, that's crazy." And he was like, "I can't believe you never been to Magic City. We gotta go to Magic City, right?" And I was just thinking, like, "We're not going to Magic City." Also, may I add this weird thing to, uh, not even weird, just very, just to show how big of a star Kevin Hart is. Uh-huh. While we were sitting there, I noticed his watch, right? Yeah. And I, I like watches. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. just, I, I'm not necessarily have always had the nicest watches, but I like the idea of a watch, yeah, right? Yeah. So I said, yo, how much, if you don't mind me asking, how much does a watch like that cost? And you're talking to? I'm talking to Kevin Hart. Wow. Right? And then he goes, uh, 